M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to set up profile. So if you look here on the bottom left, it says we're on profile four. So we click the gray box here. Look, you've got one, I've created four profiles. And when you read them, you'll get an idea of what I'm doing. Look, D star to CQ UK, DMR radio to D star, reflect 30, C4 FM fusion radio to DMR. And it's like cross links the quick way. So at the moment we're on, we're on my Yesu FT1D and it's C4FM to America link. Now, how do we create the profiles in the first place? Well, the first thing you do is just select one. So let's say we're going to select profile five here. Okay. And it will switch. Now, when you change it, it, it actually gives you the ability to change quite a few parameters. So this is the first time we've used this number profile. So let's let it change over and then we'll, we're going to configure it and then just name it so we can find it easily. So just give that a minute to change over. Right. So we'll just get our core sign in here. Look, M0FXB. And it finds it say it straight away. And we can save our core sign. OK, now we can actually set the frequency and the mode. So on number five, we're going to go at the bottom right here. It says quick setup. And we're going to say we're on a DMR radio. We're going to put in the frequency of my DMR radio, which is which I do use this frequency 433.900 but you could change it. I'm going to say we're going to use that to cross mode to reflector. We selected reflector then. Um, we're going to do 30 Charlie okay on a DMR radio. So we go down to 30 Charlie and we need the C. It's mainly C isn't it? Then you connect. So connect it and you will actually hear that if you're on a, a DMR radio. So if I can turn my DMR radio in the background. My HD one here. Turn the zone to open spot. You can't see this. Okay, so hopefully we might actually hear it if someone speaks. So it's set up there. So we set up the profile number five, which is DMR to reflect 30. So the next thing we're going to do is name it. So go to settings, go down to, I've already named quite a few here. And remember on number five, we created DMR. DMR to reflect uh, 30 and then just click save. Okay. So now we're on a normal window here. Let's go back to status. And if you look at the bottom left here, we've got our profiles. Now the good thing about the open spot four pro, you can set up 10 of these on the three. I think it's five. So let's just choose to go back to C4 FM port group 91. So we'll just click it, change profile. And the idea is that you've got these quick shortcuts. Yeah, you can hear it. It's already uh, announcing out. I'll make it a bit louder. So we're now switching to that profile. The good thing is that when you're using the app on your, you know, on your mobile phone, you can use these profiles. I'll do a separate video using them. So if it ever says any authentication errors, anything weird like that, it doesn't matter. Just try it again. Uh, it's doing it right now, and I've seen it do this, and then it will just connect. So. Let's just try again. It should just connect. Open hot, trying to connect the phone group server. See, it could be that someone's talking on talk group 91. And let's just say, I'll just show you one more time. You want to change the D star. You need a D star radio. Let's do, we've got a DMR radio here. Let's click the DMR one and click change profile. Let's see if my DMR radio starts to announce things out. I'll try and go back a bit so you can see that give that a minute right it's switching but it's still not managing to, to get it it's on the message I'm getting is about a location anyway I'm going to show you how to check to set up one more profile then we'll call it a day so go to let's go settings this time let's name it this time the profile number six, we're in settings tab at the top, and we're going to call it, let's do DMR to DMR, DMR to TG2350, or could be, I think that's called chat. We'll save that, so save the name, now we want to set it up, so let's make sure we're on that, so that is profile number six, so we need to click down here at the bottom left, select profile number six, so we switch over. We haven't configured it yet. So we'll let it switch over. 
You've got to be patient with these things. You know what these hotspots are like. Again, it's going to give us the ability to add our frequency, even a different call sign. So let's put my call sign in, M0FXB, because they might have more than one family member that's that has a license in your house. So it's DMR, and we said we're going to do it to 2350, so we'll select Brandmeister. You do need to get your Brandmeister password, and if you haven't done that, go to Brandmeister Self-Care, log in, and here, in, where it says Hotspot Security, put in a password and click Save. Okay, let's get back to where we were. And so we need to select here 2350, so just delete. If we type in chat, that should come up. 2350 Island. There, it's right at the top. We've got chat one. Can't see chat zero. So let's try 2350. Yeah, well, 2350 there it is there. United Kingdom. Connect. So that's now saved that to that profile on profile number six. And so you can just switch between profiles now. So you can click your profile, click the one you like here, and it'll just switch over. Uh, it's a lot quicker that way. So thanks for watching my channel. Looks like we actually have some activity there. A little bit of luck. You need to end it with hearing someone talking. But this is about setting up profiles. Open spot four. Couldn't get location with GEIP, so connect your authentication failed. But that could be my Brandmeister password, but I'm pretty sure that I've, I've put that in. It's possible that when you do, every time you reconfigure your profile, so if we just we'll check our profile, we'll just see. Trying to connect the server. C4FM to talk room 92. So we'll just quickly redo it. Uh, Brandmeister, we might have to re put in our password each time we set up a. A profile which is makes sense actually uh, so just put the password in then it will save it open spot connected to homebrew server so th maybe that's a lesson learned remember to put in your password when you're using brandmeister and dmr so seven thanks for my channel catch you now all the best